Yo, yo, Robert here from Drive iTech. We're here doing an install on a BMW E53 uh, X5. Now, there's a nine inch display going into this one, just a standard unit, and we're just gonna get this install cracking. First, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull off this volume button. So that is the easiest, just pulling it off. As you can see, it clamps like so. So I'll put that away for now. Underneath this volume button, as you can see in here, is a little hole at the bottom. Now, I believe this is a T10 or T15 Torx Allen key. Um, you just put that in at the bottom, turn it counterclockwise, and as you can see, as you can feel, it'll snap over, and then you wanna get a pry tool and just wedge that one down here, and that's what we're gonna do now. What we'll do first is we'll open that up. That's a lot easier. All right. Bloody hell, man. Professionals, huh? So, now we have a clip on the side, very similar to the AC clips on the E90. And this one is as simple as pulling it down and flicking it over, traditional BMW clip. And now that's out of the way. Chuck this off to the back. Next, we have two, it looks like Allen keys in here. That will take out as well. So these screws here don't actually come out. You'll just turn these as much as you can until you feel it wiggle. It actually comes out the full amount. Probably come out in about 20 turns. Now we can just simply slide it out. And at the back, you'll have your standard cables that you'll usually have on a CCC system and your antenna cable. So this is nice and easy. So pull that bottom clip here as well. Pinch like that. Pull up our lever, and we now should be able to pull it out. Now, I don't believe this has ever been pulled out, not once. Now, with the radio antenna, we'll now just push this clip in at the back and pull it out like so. And that is the old CD player out. Also, make sure you check the CDs. Did that earlier, it's not gonna do anything now, obviously. All right guys, so now we'll just be removing the cover for the CD player. Now this one is simple as getting these clips on the inside, pulling them to the center, and then just sliding it out. Once you've done that with this one, you can go move over to the other side and just push it out like so. And that CD cover out. Now, we'll place our bracketing in. So what we've done here is we've marked where we need to put our framing in. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna pop a hole here, just the intro of it, and we're gonna carry the screw. And let, do the, let the screw do the rest of the work. So you might not be able to see, but I'm just popping a little tiny screw in with a little washer on it. That's probably as good as I'm gonna get it, and it's quite stable. Oh. Subscribe and like. So we just plugged our harness in, canvas lead, and our canvas box into the middleman. Now. Now we'll plug in the RCA cable. Now this will be for your microphone and any extra subs or amps you want to connect as well. Reverse camera line, if that's wanted in the future, you can plug the camera into this. Next we have our six pin USB cable. This will be a default for any 
think you want to install or charging your phone, CarPlay, anything extra like that. What I'll do is I'll first find a spot to run this before we plug that into the back of the system. So I'll plug in this USB and I think I'm just going to run it out of the top because there's a gap there for it as well. These X5s are really quite tight, well built, so it is pretty hard to get in between the panels. So it's probably the easiest way to do it. So now, GPS, get, pull the sticky off this, and we'll pop it at the back. I notice there's a little spot if you can fit your hand right here, where there's pretty much nothing in between this and the outside world. So right here i'm pretty much putting the gps behind this piece of plastic and stick also there we go the antenna loop so this will plug right into the stock antenna like so and that will plug into the back of our unit all right, so now for installation. So what we'll do initially is we'll plug this main harness in to the back of the unit. And now this into the original. Make sure our clip is pulled back. So we're all plugged in tight. We'll flip the switch over. And then I'll plug in the GPS. And now the antenna. Last but not least, just the microphone. And we're pretty much done. Alright guys, so we've just now screwed on these two screws here and here. Make sure that they fit your behind bracket in correctly. Um, but with that there, the install's pretty much done and we are just now testing it out and finding a spot to secure the mic 